Good morning, crew. Look, it's Ivan and Teddy Bear. Wild Child is very heavily stocked with people and crew. And good morning to all of you. Okay, I realize I have not been posting a lot lately. The, my posting schedule has been delayed because we've been very busy for the last two weeks training new crew. New crew Ivan is now reasonably well trained and ready to go. Today is the first day, day one, of the gigantic adventure. Captain Lexi is very homesick. Wild Child is going home to Port Colborne, Canada on Lake Erie through the St. Lawrence River. 4,620 nautical miles, about as fast as you can jog, in waves between 2 and 15 feet. Well, we often get our asses handed to us and it will be very difficult. The water will get, will get colder as we go north and we're going to follow the spring and chase winter back north and we want to arrive, get Wild Child back in her cradle before Lake Erie freezes next winter. The first thing Teddy Bear and I have to do is go on Windy and check the weather forecasts to make sure that the wind today will be good. We are down here in Grenada. We're going to go around the corner, around the shallows, around the island, come up to the St. George's side, and I think we're going to about here which is called Halifax Bay in Grenada. It's sort of the only anchorage on that side. It's right here. And the wind should be calm today. Gusting 21. So we'll do first reef in the main, I think. This is Ivan's third sail. Lexi has help now, so hopefully I don't need to pass out while sailing anymore. I can give the physical exertion things to my young, healthy crew. I uh, know, no, no. Let's see if you guys can spot his mistake. Yep. It's the same mistake you made last time, but this time you caught it before I said anything, so that's good. Okay, Ivan, what do you feel like we should do next? I think we have to pull off the anchor. So the main halyard is now loose, so we want to take the slack out of it so it's not slapping in the wind, it doesn't tangle anything, and we don't want it to get back to the wind generator. How would we take the slack out of the main halyard? Okay. So you you moved the main traveler to center, but does that take the slack out of the main halyard? I don't know the word slack. Loose. Loose. Main halyard is uh, It's loose, loose and it's to, flapping. We it. There we go. Well, we need to we need to do uh -huh. close halfway. Uh -huh. And now pull the main halyard to take the put tension in it to make it a little bit more tight. You don't really need the winch, just pull. Just pull by hand. I did. Keep going. Till this till the head of the sail starts to lift a little bit. Go, go, go. Okay. Uh -huh. Now lock the clutch. Okay. Okay, good. Um, go one time around the drum. Okay, so the main halyard, you have to put it one time around the drum and then pull the slack. So it's ready for us to raise the mainsail now. Captain! 
Okay, vessel secure. We need to turn on helm electronics. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, the sailing with crew thing is kind of nice. My life gets so much easier. I issue the orders, and my well-trained crew that I spent two weeks training just goes forth and does things. It makes my life so much easier. I should try this crew thing more often. Why did we have to uh, make uh, ha main halyard go a bit up to, to put the head of the uh, mainsail uh, a, a, a bit high? So we don't want to leave the main halyard loose and flopping in the wind because it's going to get looser and looser and looser and it can tangle in things. So we lift the head of the mainsail just a little bit to keep a little bit of tension on the main halyard to keep it straight. Okay, for this sail we have medium winds, like 15 to 20 knots. So I've decided to keep the second reef in the main, but we're going to move the storm sail back to the baby stay to make it easier to tack the jenny. So we're going to take you on deck and show you how we can move that. terrified. I don't know why. This is going to be an easy journey today. We're only going 10 or 15 miles. It's all protected. But it's the beginning of the 4,620 nautical mile very difficult journey to get home. And I know how this is the first step of many and I know exactly how hard this is going to get. I find myself, the boat's all ready to go and I find myself just filled with anxiety and fear and terror because I know this is going to be brutal and hard and it scares the crap out of me. So I told my crew, I said, hey Ivan, we're just going to take a five minute break. I'm going to drink some chocolate milk, eat some chocolate chip cookies, and I have to center myself because I have to face this. And it really scares me.